your name? My name is Cindy. In Greek, it means goddess of the moon. What does it mean? My name is Calvin. I'm a little worried because in Latin it means bald one. Or a mean Joe Green. My name is Courtney, and it means short nose. <laughs> That's not bad. My name's Ralph, and it means big wolf. <laughs> like Tiddly for sure. Does it reflect? My name's Jessica. What people see? It means wealthy one. Your personality. Well, that's great, because my name's Ed, and it means protector of the rich. Oh. What's your name? Esther. It means a star. David. The beloved one. Joshua. God of salvation. Isaac. Laughter. Jeremiah. God is high. Elijah. Jehovah is God. Ezekiel. God's strength. Daniel. God's my judge. Joseph. He shall ask. Jesus. Some named him prophet, a man with a purpose, and some say he's just history. Some named him teacher, but few. has a specific meaning for us. Every road, every city, every person, they all were called what they were for very special reasons, many times given directly to us from Yahweh himself. My name, Isaiah, means salvation of Jehovah. <laughs> it was as if we were given names to live up to with our own lives. He told me of this one to come, the great light for us who walked in the darkness. This child would be born to us, the house of Jacob, and this promise became the hope of his broken people without a home. The final authority would rest on his shoulders, and his name? Well, he told me many. Pele Ya'atz. A wonder of an advisor. Gibor El, a strong and mighty God. Adab, a father for all eternity. And Sa Shalom, the ruler of our completeness and peace. His reign will never end, and the passion of the Lord of hosts will accomplish all foretold of our Yahweh, Messiah, come to us in flesh. Now listen, all my children, the God of Jacob speaks. The high shall be made low again, the strong shall be made weak. 
And from the barren desert a tender plant shall grow A tiny child is born to you to make your kings bow low His name is Yahweh Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end The Word who reigns forever, Yahweh Redeemer, friend, His name is Yahweh The Lord is one, His name is Yahweh They shall possess land The branches of his planting And the works of his hand For from the small beginning A mighty nation grows And in the fullness of his time The whole wide world will know That his name is still His name is Yahweh has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you, and all those from the east in Sheba will come. They will bring gold and frankincense, and they will bear good news of the praises of the Lord.
search to find something about this mystical star hanging over Judea, which no one had ever seen before. We found that the eastern prophet Balaam had foretold hundreds of years before that a star would come forth from Jacob and a scepter would rise from Israel. This had to be the birth of the mighty king of the Jews, who would reign with strength and power like no one had ever seen before. And so we went, taking treasures of Jewish worship, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, to give due honor to this child of destiny.
there in Capernaum when a man people said had a demon kept shouting that Jesus was the Holy One of God. I saw him turning over tables of money in the temple shouting, My father's house shall be a house of prayer. He healed my son when he was miles away, unable to even touch him, but by his words alone. My brother was blind from birth, but he made him see. So you know what? Sent his disciples over to Jesus to ask him, Are you Messiah or not? They found the master by the river, preaching the kingdom has come at last. And they said, Sir, please excuse us. There's just one question we need to ask. Are you the one? I should the one. Are you the one? I should the don't have to look for nothing. Are you the one? And looking at them, he said, now boys, just watch me now. And he performed some mighty wonders that just amazed and awed the crowd. Well, those disciples shook in his presence. They were nearly turned in green. And Jesus said, now go tell John. Not only what you heard, but what you see. He must be the one. 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 Those disciples, they flew back to that dirty prison to the Baptist. And they said, John. Seen some things. I said, see something, and we've heard even more. Hey, John, we got something to tell you about this man they call the Lord. So the man there fetched the demons that made him cry and shout. But to a touch from Jesus' hands, those demons came right out. Girl that was crippled, John, whose back was bent and sore. And remember that old blind man, John? Well, he ain't blind no more. Now, John, hold on to this one. Just sit back on your bed. We've seen it with our own two eyes. This man raises the dead. And John jumped up, said, Brothers, don't look another fun. He is the one. He's the one. Don't Well, the first thing he did with me was to change my name. My brother rushed home one afternoon, shouting at the top of his lungs, I've found the Messiah! I've found the Messiah! And demanding that I had to come and see him. Now, you've got to understand that Andrew was known as our family follower of whoever was the latest religious celebrity. So I had heard all this before. But this time he was so insistent. So I followed him. 
I can honestly say that I was curious to know who had stirred up Andrew like he was. We went to this little shack near the river, and outside of the house sat this man. And as we walked over to him, he looked me square in the eyes, like he'd met me before, and said, You're Simon, son of Jonas, but you shall be called Peter. Well, I wondered what Andrew had told him about me, though he swore later that he hadn't told Jesus anything. Now, I never had a problem with my name before. I mean, Simon means hearer, and I kind of like that. But Peter meant solid rock, and I couldn't figure out what he was trying to say. I felt like maybe he was baiting me, daring me to find out what he'd meant by his statement. Well, I'm a fisherman by trade. In fact, partners with two other guys, James and John. So I would listen to Jesus when he came around, but, but because of my work, I didn't take the time or the interest that Andrew did. Well, then one morning, after a very discouraging and tiring night of fishing with absolutely no results, Jesus kind of snuck up onto the beach while we were trying to finish fixing some breaks in our nets. He climbed right into my empty boat and then asked me to push him out into the water a little ways. Now, by this time, Jesus was quite the public figure in our area. So, as usual, a little crowd had followed him there. And I've got to be honest, I kind of liked the fact that I knew someone pretty famous. He sat down in the boat and started talking to the crowd. I listened out one ear, still working, while he talked about the kingdom of God being at hand. Oh, I don't know. I, I knew this man was unusual, and he had some kind of powers to do incredible things, like healing my mother-in-law for one. And I believed that Jesus believed that what he was saying was true. But, well, I, I couldn't help but feel that, that he was a little deluded about himself and who he was. Oh, he was so mysterious in the beginning. Anyway, when he was done talking to the crowd, he called over to me where I was still working on my net and said, Simon, sail out to the deep water and let down your net for a catch. Now, fishing was my business. And that kind of ticked me off because we'd just spent all night out there with no luck. But because it was Jesus, I decided to humor him and do it. So I smiled politely and said, Master, we worked hard all night and caught nothing. But because you say so, I'll let down the nets. So I sent a couple of the guys back out into the water while I stayed and finished my work. Well, they let down the nets, just like Jesus said, and then the most amazing thing happened. All of a sudden, everyone in the boat started shouting and signaling for us to come quick with another boat. The nets were breaking. Breaking? Well, I, I couldn't believe my ears. It took them a while to get back to shore, but when they finally did, there were so many fish. The boats were starting to sink. And when I saw the catch, I, I felt like the breath had been knocked out of me. It's hard to explain. It was like, like a spear had hit the center of my heart. Somehow, I knew this was the Messiah, just like Andrew had said. Well, being overcome with the thought, I fell to my knees, not able to look up at him, and I cried, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. And he spoke back in the most gentle yet strong way. Don't be afraid. From now on, you will be fishing men. And you know what? I left my work, and I followed him. Just like Andrew had, and James and John, well, they came too. Oh, to, to, to tell you all that happened, all of the things that we saw and heard and felt, and his words. Oh, there couldn't be another storyteller like him ever. I can tell you very honestly that if I had known what we were going to go through, I would never have left my nets. But now, well... Strangely, he often warned us not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. Oh, they were after him, and he knew it.
Some named him devil Because of his powers You see, they just could not understand His name is Savior resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. A certain man had died in the town of Bethany. Lazarus was his name The Bible says he was A man that Jesus loved And his sisters thought it was a shame Mary and Martha long For Jesus' healing touch To come and raise their brother Cause they loved that boy so much But Jesus had a plan not known to any man that would soon take away that pain. They were waiting for Jesus to come and say, Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Come forth. When he died, he went to work. Saints of God did stay in the holding place they lived beyond the tomb. And there we saw Elijah, Moses, Samuel, even Ruth, and all the others jammed up in a room. He turned around and saw old Gideon standing by the door. He walked up, said, Hey, brother, what's this group here for? Well, Giddy said, Well, all right, this is testimony night. Find a place, man, cause the meeting's starting soon. While Mary and Martha just wanted to see their Lazarus. Oh, Lazarus. Now this meeting come to order. Can I get a witness for the Lord tonight? Abraham kicked it off, said. I want you all to know I knew him. He gave a child to my barren wife. Isaac waved his hand, said. Hey, Daddy, I knew him too. Jacob jumped up, said. Amen, Grandpa, preach it. Old dignified Solomon, he adjusted his robe and said, Oh, I knew him. He made me so smart I started to teach him. Ezekiel said, I knew him as a wheel within a wheel. Job said, 
Man, he healed me when I was almost dead. Samson said, I knew him when some Philistines tried to jump me. I took a donkey jawbone, busted a few heads. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said when you were in the fiery furnace. Jonah said, Man, he gave me a second chance. Daniel cried out, I knew him in a hungry den of lions. The Holy Ghost hit King David, he just started to dance. Lazarus got so excited, he shouted, Hey, I knew him too. Moses put down his stick, said, Hey, who's the new kid? Needless to say, the room got real quiet when Lazarus said, But I knew him in a way that y'all never did. See, man, I walked with him and talked with him. I saw how his teachings are the crowds. Those famous tears of compassion, I could actually see. Man, he used to come over to my house after church. My sisters would make him dinner. Every month, I even supported his ministry. See, man, I watched him confront the Pharisees. I was there when he fed the 5,000. I heard the people gasp when he healed the lame. You see, man, I even remember the littlest things, the things most folks would forget, like the simple, loving way he just called my name. Up at the grave, the stone rolled away. With a loud voice, Jesus started to say, Lazarus. You see, fellas, it just seemed like yesterday I could hear that man saying my name. Lazarus. As a matter of fact, it kind of seemed like today I... Lazarus. Excuse me, brothers. I think I hear him call me now. What? Lazarus. Jesus? Lazarus. Jesus? Lazarus. Jesus. Lazarus. Hey, Jesus. Lazarus. Come forth. Come forth. I command. prophet for weeks along with hundreds of others like him. He was amazing, the wonders he performed, the stories that he told. The pious Pharisees kept trying to trip him up with questions, probably to get him arrested for saying something against the law. But Jesus always turned it around and confounded them. It had to have made them mad, but he spoke such truth. Surely this was the son of David, the one who would rescue us from the oppression of the Romans. One morning he came into Jerusalem on a donkey, surrounded by his twelve bodyguards. Our joy just at seeing him, and for all he was doing, exploded into a parade! On a little donkey, down the road today, he rides into Jerusalem, surrounded by our praise. As we see him coming, we cannot help but see, and welcome our Savior, Messiah and King, and we say, Our spirits came alive 
Emmanuel, the chosen one, has finally arrived. That's how it was on Sunday. This fellow blasphemes. Why is your teacher eating with the tax gatherers and sinners? Why do we fast and your disciples do not? He casts out demons by the ruler of the demons. Behold, your disciples do what is not lawful to do on a Sabbath. Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? This man casts out demons only by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. Why do your disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. Show us a sign from heaven. Do you hear what these are saying? By by what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Is it lawful to give a poll tax to Caesar or not? Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Do you make no answer? What is it that these are testifying against you? I adjure you by the living God that you tell us whether or not you are the Christ, the Son of God. He is blasphemed. What further need do we have of witnesses? Behold, you have now heard the blasphemy. What do you think? He is deserving of death. Yes. Prophesy to us, you Christ, who is the one who just hit you. Do you not hear? how many things they testify against you? His blood be on us and, and on our children. Some named him blasphemer because they refused to accept him as more than just the man. And in unison they shouted Give us Barabbas! From a thousand feet away Barabbas could not hear The question Pilate asked But just the same The very sting of death itself Shot through his sinful soul When he heard the angry mob Cry out his I know that sound I know that spirit I lived it, breathed it, moved in it 
waited for years The sound of hate The sound of violence The final threat to all my deepest fears Then Pilate said What shall I do with Jesus of Nazareth? Barabbas could not hear it though he tried But his heart raced on, his soul went numb When he heard them shout the verdict Let him be crucified I really don't quite understand Or maybe, yes I do Barabbas, me crucified today I've made my life a horrid mess But never in my wildest dream Would I believe that it would end this way I should have done so many things If only I had listened To the voice of God I've grown to hate My youth I wasted foolishly Living out my fantasies Seen now me Regretfully, it's too late. I hear that now, the jangling keys, the guard, the leather sandals, marching to the cell where I am now. The armor clanging rhythmically, my hands can't stop from sweating as death calls out to take my final bow. Yes? Your time has come. Get your things together. And take that look of horror off your face. But I'm going to die. No, you're not. Remember Jesus of Nazareth, that healer and teacher? Well, he just took your place.
This blood is for you The blood of the Lamb Then they found a spike between the bones and his wrists Bursting arteries and veins And as they dropped the cross in the hole they dug His body convulsed with pain In an agony and torment that never a soul shall find He tilts his face toward heaven With full control of his mind With more love than any human heard Before that time or since He made a statement that to this day Makes the strongest skeptic wince He cried, Father God, forgive them For they know not what they do and as he gave his life for those lost in sin, he was saying, This blood is for you. Ooh, and after all these years, this blood can save the soul, heal the sick, and mend the heart. This blood can give you access to the very throne of God, and it still can go the distance the pain to where you are this blood is for you if you're lost and alone and your mind's confused this blood is for you if you feel rejected and hurt and used this blood is for you the blood of That sin begins This blood is, is for you If you desperately want to start over again This blood is for you The blood of the And the tomb, he appeared to us and said, Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer and rise again from the dead the third day, and that repentance for forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all the nations beginning with Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things.
What's his name? Yahweh, King of the Jews. What's his name? The Son of God. The One. Messiah. What's his name? The Lamb. What's his name? Resurrection. What does it mean? Does it reflect what people see? What do you see? He sat down in the crowd. He became the unique. Now you're the one with the choice. The one spirit that's free. You're the one with the choice. What does it mean? What's your name? What's his name? What's your name? What's his name? What does it mean? What does it mean? Something beautiful to play 
And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. And you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. I am the bread of life. I am the good shepherd. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. I am the vine. And you will be hated by all on account of my name. But the one who endures to the end, he shall be saved. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things. This Spirit of Truth will bear witness of me and remind you of what I have said. These things I have spoken to you, that your joy may be full. God highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The joy of the Lord is in me. Oh, what happiness he brings. While I'm walking where he leads me, that is why you'll often hear me sing. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Sing unto the King of Israel. I will bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus, sing unto the King of Israel.
these things have been written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, and that believing you may have life in his name.